Hey, I'm Brian Smith. I'm a kindergarten teacher at Oxford Elementary School. I'm here to tell you about the wonderful book, The Napping House. The Napping House is a great book about a grandma who falls asleep on a rainy day. Everyone in the house crawls in bed with her and through a series of zany events, they all wake up. The kids love the predictive text of this book. They love how something new is added to each page, but then you can hear them kind of start whispering to themselves as you're reading it, like the snoring granny on the cozy bed. And as they understand that like, hey, I've got this down pat and they're really like understanding like, hey, these words are repeating and it's a great way to kind of get them involved in that book. And then they get quiet to find out what's happening next and then they'll join right back in. One of the favorite things to do with this book is to fill out kind of a timeline. So just a bunch of little boxes and then they get they can draw the granny and they can draw the little boy and they can draw the dog and and they draw all of those characters kind of sleeping and then they draw all those characters kind of waking up. And so it doesn't have to be on top of each other like in the book on the bed, but it helps them then retell the story. So this is very easy for kids to draw pictures. So then it falls into that beginning, middle and end. Um, and it uses those transition words like next and first. And so all of those things really kind of go in to this book's lessons because it just fits into all of those things that we teach. The illustrations by Dawn would really capture all of the characters in the very first page. They're all there. You just don't know to look for them. And so as you finish the book, you can go back and the kids start seeing these little stories about how the flea is on top of the chair and then he's on the chair arm and then he's on this part of the room. And you can see all of these little miniature stories kind of happening as everybody is making their way to the bed. When kindergarten starts, we always take a rest time in the afternoon. Like a kindergarten day, full day is so long for these little ones that are just so new to academics. So we still take a rest up to the first nine weeks, maybe even up to Christmas. So this is a great book for that time of year because it's about sleeping and you can read it in so many ways because it can be a loud boisterous book it can also be kind of a quiet book because it's it's the napping house and everyone is sleeping and so it's a great book to also kind of like lead kids into like this rest time and you know talk about the importance of like you've got to take a rest because like your body is tired and I know you don't want to but I promise you're not going to miss anything this is one of those books where it helps kids realize that reading is fun reading is can be funny, books can be entertainment. I've used this book through the years and I've always loved it because it just creates a great love of reading. Be sure to add it to your classroom or home library.